Hey, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Chicken Coop Studio. I've been spending the last couple days framing things, getting ready. I think I framed about 50 paintings in the last couple days and it's all for the 2020 Fall Art Tour. Every year I look forward to the third weekend in October because I know that it's going to mean that you're all going to come into my studio and I'm going to get to share my work with you. Now this year we're going to be doing things a little bit differently and we're going to be having a virtual Fall Art Tour. I'm going to produce a new video for each of the three days of the tour and I'm also going to premiere new paintings on each of the three days of the tour. That way we can at least get together face to face. I know it's not real face to face, but it's the new way to do face to face. We'll just do it through a video. In my work, you're gonna get a better feel for the thick application of paint, and you're just gonna see a moving image of the painting, and it'll give you a better grasp of the size. On the first day, I'm gonna have a new show of landscape paintings created during the golden hour. Now the golden hour is always a special time for me. I love painting during that time. It's just a time when I feel like I make my best decisions as a painter and that light has that beautiful orange quality to it. So I know that the, the lights are kind of funky in here because we're after hours, but here's one of my golden hour paintings. And this one is actually sold and I'm gonna drop this one off in the next couple weeks. It was a commission painting that I did over the summer. But you're going to see a lot of paintings that are created at the same time late in the evening. On the second day of the Fall Art Tour, I'm going to be premiering my new pastel paintings. The things that I love about pastel is that because it's just a dry chalk pigment, the colors actually seem even more vibrant on the pastel paper. Last year I had 10 pastel paintings on the Fall Art Tour, and a lot of them sold on the first day. So I think that my pastel paintings are, are being received very well, and I've got a few new ones that I'm excited to share with you this year on the Fall Art Tour. On the third day of the Fall Art Tour, I'm gonna to be going into my archives, or my the place that I store my paintings, and I'm gonna select a dozen or so paintings from through the years. Every time that I set up my easel and paint, a new memory is made. And those memories are more vivid than any other memories that I have. I mean, it kind of makes sense when you're standing somewhere for three hours making a painting, you kind of absorb all those little nuances of the day. These paintings are gonna be available only on that third day of the Fall Art Tour. And I, I know I have some nice ones upstairs that have not seen the light of day for several years. Anyway, thanks so much for your support. Be sure to check out fallarttour.com because there's a ton of skilled, people working in 2D mediums, 3D mediums, people are throwing pots, they're making paintings, they're doing installation work, there's so much cool stuff. There's fiber artists, there's printmakers, there's photographers, there's almost every type of art form that you could conceive. Digital arts, abstract painters, realist painters, um, there's every type of medium is represented on the Fall Art Tour. And I think you're gonna get really get a kick out of some of these artists. So you're gonna want to check out thefallarttour.com. You're gonna see all the different mediums. You're gonna like what you see, and we're gonna be getting ready for a great virtual show in 2020. You guys, thanks so much for sticking with me. We're gonna check out the painting of this one. And it just has that that great quality of light gold light that I always love painting. You guys, thanks for sticking with me. Let's cut right to the video.